a very, very, very long time ago, I made a butterfly. And ever since then, people are like, you should make a dragonfly, which is actually a pretty cool idea. So, now, clear acrylic, laser cutter. This should be pretty straightforward. I started by cutting just one wing to see how this went, and all in all, it was pretty good. There was a bit of flex though when the cut passed around the wing shape because there was so much engraving happening all on one side of the acrylic. So to try and alleviate this on the next round of wings that I did, I let the acrylic sit and rest for a minute or two between the engrave pass and the cut pass. And this did cut down on the flex quite a bit, which I was happy with. It certainly wasn't perfect, but the amount of bend that I was getting was hardly noticeable when the acrylic wasn't laying on the flat laser bed. And then it was time to peel the masking off and take a look at the finished effect. I tried using a scraper to speed this up for myself, but it didn't actually go any faster than just doing this by hand, um, and it was frustratingly slow. I tried getting this off with duct tape at this point. I tried anything under the sun to speed it up, but this was just the right way to do it, even though the trade-off was time. I ended up doing this over the course of a couple of days to make it a bit more manageable, but I would say the finished effect was well worth it. It looked just how I was hoping this was gonna look. From here, it was time to make a plan for the rest of the piece. I'm going to 3D print the body in this basic shape and then each wing will slide into one of four notches on the sides. Inside each notch, I want to position an LED light that will hit the edge of the acrylic and illuminate all of those veins that we just engraved. The most important dimension to get before 3D modeling is going to be the size of those notches. I'm using Shaper 3D to put together this 3D model. It is my favorite 3D modeling app, and there's actually a really great free version available as well, and I highly recommend it. I'm starting by building the basic dragonfly body shape, and then I'm adding the four notches for the wings, along with a large rectangular cavity on the underside of this that's eventually gonna house my electrical components. I wasn't sure if the 3D print was gonna be, because it's such a large part of the piece, I wasn't sure if it was gonna just look cheesy or something, and it actually looks real nice, I think. I gotta get the supports off of here and then just verify that everything fits how it's supposed to fit. paint off camera but there are two changes that I need to make the first change is that there is support material printing in the grooves for the wings and um, it's fairly difficult to get out so I'm gonna just make those grooves a little bit bigger so I fit them perfectly to the size of the acrylic but because it's such a perfect fit it actually is causing problems if that makes sense and then the second change I'm gonna make is that I completely forgot to put a hole for the switch into the 3D model. I made those changes to my 3D model and then printed up version number two. I was pretty darn confident with this version, but for some reason the supports printed really rigidly on this one, and then this happened. <laughs> I 
works out that the tail broke off because the switch hole is actually a little bit too small. So I was gonna need to be reprinting this anyway. The third time was in fact the charm in this case, and then it was time to finish this with a sand and a coat of filler primer. I made sure the front side was looking nice and smooth, but something of note here is that I'm not gonna take my time too much on the back side of this because that's all gonna get covered with electrical components in the end anyway. And then before the final coats of paint, I did a little bit of dragonfly research to get some legs positioned on this thing. To create the legs, I'm using copper wire, heating it up with a torch, and then pressing it directly into the 3D print. For the final paint job, I'm starting off with a solid coat of a darker metallic spray paint, and then going over the top of this with a light coat of a light silver metallic spray paint. This double layer is going to create some really nice dimension in the finished piece super happy with how this came out. And from here, it was time to get those notches to light up. So here's the deal. We need to have four lights that will turn on and off together with one switch. So I'm gonna start by wiring all the positive sides of each LED light together and then wiring those all to the switch. Then I'm gonna wire up all the negative sides together and then make a big loop out of this with the battery in the middle. Um, I feel like soldering, people think, is like really hard. It's not. Uh, the biggest thing is just to get a good mechanical connection between your wires before you start adding the solder onto it. And then like you literally can't mess it up. It's just like using hot glue gun. I'm using shrink tubes to insulate the solder joints coming off of my battery pack. And I'm using multiple glue to do the same for my switch because I forgot to insulate it until after I'd already snapped it in place. All right, now moment of truth, battery in. Yes, it works, <laughs> good. Right, this is not elegant at all, but I'm gonna just cover these last two solder joints with the moldable glue. And then it's good. And you just shove it all in there. And then it was time to think about positioning the lights. So here's what we wanna see here. If I have my light and it's directly on the edge of the acrylic, the wing, the wing glows. The second that it moves just a little bit under the acrylic where it's not directly on the edge, it stops glowing. After all that peeling, I cut some new wings. Shall we assemble a dragonfly? Let's do it. I recut the wings because I needed shorter tabs and wanted a clean laser cut edge to be what I was gluing those LED lights up against. To position my lights, I'm using more of my trusty moldable glue. This stuff is the best. It hardens like polymer clay without needing to be baked in an oven. As frustrating as the prospect of more sticker peeling was, I actually think that this order of events ended up being for the better because the masking material was on top of my acrylic during the assembly process to protect it from any smudges or scratches. Acrylic shows everything, so this made sure that I had really nice and perfect looking wings when I did pull it off. And the last thing to do was screwing in some hardware for hanging, and this thing was done. This gives such a beautiful soft glow as a nightlight or just as a cool wall hanging piece. I'm really pleased with how this ended up coming out. 
And if you wanna try making one of these yourself, I'm gonna be making all of the files that I put together in this video available on makersworkshop.com so that you can do that. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button so that I can see you here next time.